Over 40% of all Americans suffer from some sort of heartburn at least once a month. 18 million Americans suffer from chronic heartburn. Heartburn can be a symptom of a much more serious condition known as gastroesophageal reflux, or GERD. First he would get up in the middle of the night, tonight, you know, he would cough, and then pretty soon it got to the point where he would say, I think I'll just sit in the chair tonight. <coughs> and when it got to about four or five nights, I just finally said, this is it, we've got to, we've got to get some help. Because he wasn't sleeping well, and then during the daytime he couldn't function. It was miserable. It felt like somebody was just taking their foot or, or their fist and just pushing it up against your chest so hard. And you had this feeling of where you were choking. I'm really explaining it mildly. I mean, it, you actually felt like you were having a heart attack. Typical symptoms of this condition may include painful heartburn, indigestion, regurgitation, difficulty sleeping, hoarseness, sore throat. Gastroesophageal reflux occurs when acid from the stomach surges upwards into the esophagus. The result is painful heartburn. In the normal anatomy, a valve at the end of the esophagus keeps the acidic gastric juices from rising up into the esophagus. It is when this valve is malfunctioning that reflux occurs. The valve defect may be congenital from birth, or it may have become weakened as part of the normal aging process. Although most cases of reflux are caused by this weakened valve, there are other causes that need to be assessed by your doctor. Some patients may also suffer from what is known as a hiatal hernia. A hiatal hernia is caused by an opening in the diaphragm, which is a flat muscle that separates the lungs from the abdomen. When the opening in the diaphragm enlarges, a portion of the lower esophagus, and in some cases, the stomach itself, herniates or pushes into the opening. Physical stress, heavy lifting, pregnancy, and the normal wear and tear of life on the body can cause a hiatal hernia. If left untreated, gastroesophageal reflux can cause ulceration of the esophagus, narrowing of the esophagus, difficulty swallowing, and respiratory problems. While medical therapies and basic changes in diet can help reduce symptoms, the basic abnormality of the malfunctioning valve is not addressed. Here's the good news. Thanks to a videoscopic surgical procedure which addresses the malfunctioning valve, chronic heartburn can be treated in many cases. In this procedure, the surgeon wraps a part of the stomach known as the gastric fundus around the lower esophageal sphincter and improves the performance of the sphincter, preventing the reflux of acids from the stomach into the esophagus and eliminating heartburn. Many surgical procedures for chronic heartburn due to GERD are done videoscopically. Videoscopic surgery uses special surgical instrumentation, a fiber optic camera and light source, and a video monitor to view the anatomy for the procedure. This special surgical instrumentation allows the videoscopic procedure to be done less invasively with a few dime-sized incisions rather than one large one used in traditional open surgery. Because the incisions are small, Scarring tends to be greatly reduced. Hospital stay shorter and recovery faster than with traditional surgery. However, depending on patient condition, a surgeon may recommend open surgery as the best alternative. Potential risks and complications of the videoscopic procedure are similar to those associated with open surgery, such as reactions to anesthesia, and medications and a minor risk of bleeding and infection. You should also know that if complications do occur during the videoscopic operation, your doctor may choose to perform open surgery. There may also be some slight discomfort, swallowing, belching, regurgitation, or if you must, vomit. It's recommended that patients stick with liquid or soft foods for a few days after surgery to alleviate this problem. 
If you have tried over-the-counter or prescription strength medication without relief, see your doctor. For you, it may be right to fix the underlying problem rather than manage the symptoms of chronic heartburn. But remember, only discussion with a healthcare professional and proper diagnostic testing will establish whether you could be an appropriate candidate for videoscopic surgery for GERD. If so, you will likely be referred to a surgeon. For more information on whether videoscopic surgery for chronic heartburn may be an appropriate option for you, consult your doctor. These are some questions that you may find helpful during your discussion with your doctor or surgeon on your treatment options. Questions for your doctor. Could surgery be the answer for me? Why? What are my alternatives? Can you recommend a surgeon who performs a videoscopic or laparoscopic procedure? If surgery is for me, what are the next steps? Questions for your surgeon. Are you board certified? Have you been trained in videoscopic laparoscopic procedures, particularly for chronic heartburn? How many times have you performed this procedure? What have the outcomes been? What are the complications and or side effects? What should I do to prepare for the surgery? What can I expect following the surgery? Can you give me the name of one of your patients who has had the procedure so I can talk to him or her? After you have the surgery, uh, your whole life just really changes again. Because uh, again, you, you can just enjoy so much more. Don't wait as long as I did. It's not worth suffering. Uh, go in and get yourself checked out. Definitely do it. I'm living proof. It worked for me. A videoscopic procedure for chronic heartburn can help you get back to doing all the things you love to do. It can mean life without heartburn. More information is also available at the website www.heartburnhelp.com. 